Hello again, this is Dr. Whiting. And this is going to be a fun little discussion. Uh, as many of you who have followed me know, I, I tend to be 10 years ahead of myself. Well, in this case, I'm like 100 years ahead of myself or behind myself, depending on how you look at it. Back at the turn of the last century, meaning the 1800s to the 1900s, uh, in the late 1800s, uh, it was quite fashionable uh, for people to produce so-called health tonics. They had tonics for rheumatism and arthritis. They had tonics for strength and endurance. They had tonics to prevent you from the flu. They had tonics for everything. And those tonics were sold in uh, dark little bottles with uh, uh, very nondescript labels on street corners or out of the back of wagons. And that was the era of tonics. Unfortunately, at that time, we knew very little about medicine and even less about nutrition. So most of those tonics contained cheap alcohol and a few herbs, and oftentimes didn't do a whole lot. But I find it interesting that the trend now, uh, in the 21st century, is that we're returning to tonics. The word tonic is very popular again. In fact, it, it, in fact, it probably is conjuring up uh, feelings of the good old days, where you took your tonic, uh, once a day or once a week and it kept you well. Well today that concept is much more valid and valuable because we know what to put in a tonic to actually give you some benefit. Now here's the funny part. Now that people are just starting to talk about liquid tonics, liquid supplements, um, some of you who know me know that I pioneered the first full-spectrum liquid supplement almost 30 years ago. In fact, it remains today the only full-spectrum, high-potency liquid supplement on the market. Most liquid supplements are very low in potency because of the fact that they cannot uh, keep them stable. When you put nutrients, especially minerals, in water, in an aqueous solution, it accelerates their chemical activity. And this often causes serious problems um, in the stabilization of the formula. Many years ago, I was fortunate enough to figure out a way in which we can stabilize these nutrients, especially the minerals, keep them separate from each other, yet give them all to you in one healthy tonic or drink. And that formula is currently still available. It is being offered through a company in Southern California called Phoenix Nutritionals. They call it high vitality, but what it really is is full spectrum nutrition, providing all the vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, amino acids, fatty acids, phytochemicals from plants, and antioxidants in one healthy tonic. If you'd like to explore the benefits of this tonic, we invite you to do so. Certainly, if you have any questions about full spectrum nutrition, its application, and its use, please feel free to contact us at our research center. We don't offer any products for sale. We just develop them and do the research. So if you'd like information about what we found out and about the absorption rates and so forth, give us a call at 1-88-454-8464. If you would prefer to email me directly, my email address is askthedoc, A-S-K-T-H-E-D-O-C, at healthyinformation.com. The website, of course, is healthyinformation.com. For those of you who may suspect that you might have a yeast issue, we have a dedicated website specifically to that subject because it is so common and so uh, epidemic, and that is candidaclinic.org. If you'd like to follow our work on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google+, Plus, uh, Pinterest, and all the others, uh, the links to do that are available on all the websites I just cited for you. And if you like our series of videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll automatically be notified as soon as we produce new videos, which, by the way, we are doing regularly in our ongoing education series. Last but certainly not least, if you got benefit from this video, please like us below 
and also feel free to comment because we'd like to hear from you. This is Dr. Whiting and thanks for listening.